Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here, it's day two of Astrid Wett versus Alexia Grace fight week. We've just had a very, very crazy press conference, fish being flown. Uh, I think you got thrown off the table, but first of all, have the nerves settled now and you're ready for fighting? Yes. I'm much more confident than I was yesterday, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the fight. I think a few more days as well, behind the cameras, I'll be fine, I'll be sound. Obviously, Astrid's had the two fights, but it's not just the two fights, it's the build-up, it's the press conference, the workout, the weigh-in. This is your first time. How have you found it, just being around all of this? Uh, it is daunting, like, I'm not going to lie, but... I've soon sort of become used to it. So, yeah, it's not that bad. I feel like I'm made for the lifestyle. <laughs> I've, 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 I've become accustomed to it very quickly. I'll be honest, this is more of like a traditional boxing channel, but the first time I heard of you was when you throwed a bucket of water over Astrid. Since then, it's kind of progressed and progressed to a level where there was nowhere else to go but for you two to fight each other. So when you got the call from Astrid, was it easy enough to make this fight? Yeah, I mean, she basically said, uh, I'll fight you, but the only way we can fight is on this promotion. So I was just like, yeah, okay, fine, I'll fight you. I, I don't really care where or when. I mean, I'd like to fight her on Misfits to the Bout eventually, but we'll see. Well, you have got that belt round your arm at the minute. You said win or lose, you will give that back. So are you just kind of holding it ransom to get that fight and to finally get in the ring with her? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Literally, I'm just going to keep it until... I don't trust that if I give it about now, she'll, uh, she'll fight me, so we'll see. We briefly spoke about off-camera, but you have been training with Clifton Mitchell, obviously esteemed trainer, with the likes of Sandy Ryan, uh, Scarf's also in that gym. What's it like training with a world champion in Sandy Ryan and Clifton? It's eye-opening, to say the least. I mean... I, I, I underestimated how hard boxing was, but then training with Sandy and seeing how that's done, he's like a whole new level, like a whole new level. So, Obviously, yourself, Astrid, she trains with uh, Louis Edmondson's trainer, and then you've got the likes of Elbrook, who trains with Mark Tibbs, who has trained with Ebony Bridges. It's good for you girls to actually get that professional training experience, because you're not professionals, you're not real boxers, but you're getting in there, giving it a go, and it is the entertainment. So... An eye-opening experience, do you think you'll carry on with this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. I'd like to do amateur eventually, I think, okay. like, in between Misfits events. I think I've got a lot of respect for the sport now, so yeah. And Astrid, obviously today, it did escalate quite quick when you walked in with a fish. What was your thoughts behind that? Do you know what, honestly, it's a last-minute thing. So I went to Tesco's, because I wanted to get a pasta. <laughs> and I saw the fish, and I was, I li it literally just came to me like... All my ideas just come to me that quick. I see someone, I'm like, yes, that's what I'll do. So I thought, okay, I'll throw it out. <laughs> that okay. simple. How did that feel when you got pushed over? Obviously, it, it isn't the best thing for yourself, but you got straight back up in her face and just shown that you're ready for Saturday night? Um, well, I mean, she pushed me when my head was like this, looking at the poster. So in my defence, I was not going to know she was coming. Um, it did hurt a little bit. I got pushed onto a, like a concrete floor. I'm not going to say it didn't hurt, but I'm here. I'm OK. <laughs> Finally, then, just a message for Astrid. Where obviously, three days away, she's about 12 foot away from us. Is it genuine hatred between you two? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I really don't. I really, really don't like her. And what's going to happen on Saturday night? I've got a prediction? We'll see. We'll see. Keeping her cards close to her chest. Alexia Grace, thank you very much for being to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. For the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up and you fucking show up.